Run him back too. Wait, what was it again? What was it again? What was it? Poppy? Poppy? Poppy playtime, yes! Oh god, wait, no, stop. I think we're fine. Poppy playtime, where Ghidorah left off of being chased by Huggy Wuggy. He's very cute. Yeah. And we're just running. Ugh. Hopefully without fail. Ugh. We only get a break literally right here. But yeah, we, I, I should I should basically know where I'm going. I uh, sort of, somewhat. This way. Down here. We that'd be fun. Uh, wait. Oh shit. Uh, I forgot where to go after that. Po <laughs> after that point, death isn't permanent. But why isn't it? Why? Isn't it? What am I? Who am I? It's the important questions. This is my third cup of coffee today. Very important questions. Why do I not die? Bonk. Okay. But we'll try this again. I'm kind of- I want to know what other monsters exist. I, I, so I want to try to get further. Like, the animation people had pointed out, the animation of its movement is really sick. Uh. Okay, uh... Ah. A weird tilt. He's like, literally right behind me, man. God, he's like... Uh, nope, not... Oh yeah, the... Open, please. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, now. Oh. Um... <laughs> oh, he's... Oh, look at that. Anim they even animated all that shit. That's cool. It is... It... You can see blood. Why... Why does it... Why does it bleed blood? That's cool, though. You'd have to imagine just the, the sheer animation that had to go into its movement. I'm not sure if they'd use mocap or not. They, they'd have to legit animate its falling animation and as smooth th as it was and it like you know falling down like the people did in the movie Titanic that was always the funniest part in Titanic was when it was like it it cracked in half and it went up and then people dropped and fell and you know there's that guy that like hits the propeller on their way down and go bing and then they do like whirl, a twirl before falling into the ocean fucking hilarious and it's just like that <laughs> at least that's what and so I'm like, man, I watched the Titanic, it's the funniest thing ever, how the people died. Which is just, just those deaths. The ones where they, they fall and go bonk. And make a metallic dong noise. But otherwise... Hmm. Cool though. Very cool chase sequence. Definitely one of the best. I've played plenty of horror games. There's, there's been three TVs and three VCRs I haven't been able to uh, watch. I'm not sure if we're coming back here at some point, or it's just something that's rare and you'd only find if I go... Oh. See, I, I would have missed that. I didn't see that. I didn't see that VCR. I know there's like a pink one and a yellow one or something I didn't watch. Final log in relation. Experiment 1006. The prototype. Cool.
coordination and cooperation is evidently within his skill set, as well as the skill set of all other experiments of his type. Though still missing, today's events are no doubt in relation to him. His absence was a flaw in the scientific process, which should have under no circumstances been left unaccounted for. That's why I'm making this log, so that the same mistake won't be made twice. Any future experiments will need to be contained and disposed of in a secure location. I'm not worried about myself. One breakthrough and I'll be back. We must forge onwards in the name of science. Whether those who are beneath us understand it or not, end of... He didn't seem to care about his life. As something was definitely crawling in the vents, I think was the noise it was making. There's something coming to kill him, if not Huggy Wuggy or something else. Maybe we are that character. Because they didn't seem to care about their life and they acted as if they come back as well. Curious. Well, we're gonna learn more as we go. But I'm wondering who wrote these messages. I wouldn't think Huggy Wuggy, but the question becomes who. And... <laughs> Is it all by the noose? It's all by the- it's all by the neck. They're all- they're all being noosed. It reminds me of what I did to my- my older sister one time. She has a favorite teddy bear. She calls it, I think, the daddy teddy bear. Like a very t small teddy, like... I don't know, like this... this tall? I don't know, like maybe a- maybe 10 inch high kind of teddy bear. I remember one time I was like, man, she lo she's like four years older than me. She'd be like 20, you know, 22, 24 at the time and she still loves the teddy. So I was like, oh man, this is gonna be hilarious. I'm gonna get a string. I'm gonna thumbtack it to the ceiling in her bedroom so when she go comes home from work or whatever or school, she'd turn on her light to see like <laughs> the teddy hung by the neck above her bed and her reaction was priceless. I mean, I was a little shit of a brother, obviously. <laughs> but I just, it's, a, it's an animate teddy. And I just remember her turning on the light going, no! <laughs> like, like Darth Vader in Star Wars Episode fucking three. No! <laughs> Just to the seeing their teddy, and then they start crying. And so just see, you know, toys being hung by the neck, and it just makes me think of the same thing. Good times, good times. Story times with Nico. Can I not move this? Hmm. No. Nope. Guess nothing to do here. There's no VCR tapes or VHS tapes there either. Just go to the the door I absolutely don't trust at all. We're gonna see the little girl? Hmm. Peaceful music before she wakes up and goes ape shit on me. Was that a... What? <laughs> Chapter 1, a tight squeeze, it just ends there? Don't tell me... Don't tell me this is the end of the game so far as is. I hope there's, like, more to the game. I swear to God. If I om if I would have, like, stopped the last episode right when I was at almost the brink of beating the game, I'd be pretty triggered. But I have no idea if this is, like, just chapter one. As long as they're not gonna do the whole, um... What was it? The Inky game. Inky? I can't 
can't remember the game. People should know what I'm talking about. The classical cartoon but 3D <laughs> ink game with ink cat. I can't remember. I just remember that game was just handled fucking poorly. So I'm not sure. We'll have to see. It boils down to don't make a game that's sold sold separately chapter by chapter by chapter that would be horrible but i think i guess this is all there is like, did i pay for a full game that's just chapter one thus far but will keep updating down the road sort of like more so dark deception we'll have to see uh, i'll read the game store page then mm, the game currently includes the first chapter any future chapters will also cost 4.99 Mmm... That's sus. That's questionable. But, I mean, the game was just five bucks. Hmm... Huh. I guess I could boil down this entire rant, depending on if I have to delete any, if I feel I should, because it's too long of a rant. Five bucks for an hour of gameplay. If every chapter was genuinely one hour to one hour and 30 minutes and not really, really short, like I really hope they don't release a chapter two, chapter three, chapter four, any, however many chapters they're going for. And I hope none of them are like 30 minutes long. Um, but it is true that I missed a bunch of the VCR tapes, which bugs me now. If I looked a little harder, I could have found more VC uh, VHS tapes for the VCR. Um, five bucks for an hour, though, is just hitting the right amount, I guess you could say. Because the simple division of, you know, five, five dollars divided by... Or sixty divided by five equals roughly twelve. Or exactly twelve, not, not roughly, exactly. So if you think about it in terms of AAA game studios, you pay sixty bucks to get roughly eight to twelve hours... It, it balances out in the end. Five bucks for an hour of good content? You can't complain. I can tell they put good... Uh, good... What's the word I'm looking for? Good. Good effort. Good passion. Good. Good time? I don't even know what word I'm looking for. I gotta stop rambling. But either way, I can tell they put good effort in this. The chase scene was awesome. Like I said, this is one of the best chase scenes in a horror game to recent memory. It's scripted, yes. But it's like, say, in terms of, there's unscripted chase, and then there's scripted chases. Unscripted are things like Puppet Combo and Nun Massacre, where it's unscripted and it happens, and holy shit, you know, adrenaline rush. And this, it was an adrenaline rush scripted, but it was well made. Like, it was a cool situation. Um, I don't know. But, five bucks. I just really hope the developer doesn't make it so that any future chapters are basically really short, and I hope the bare minimum of basically an hour per chapter minimum remains that way. Because fucking Bendy and the Ink Machine was bordering on scamming, and then it became basically a scam. I, I hope this developer doesn't do that, and it keeps the same amount of effort, the same amount of quality in this, and they just, you know polish it up and make it more optimized for PCs. I think I don't know if they're a single developer or solo dev or not. I have no idea, but I hope they continue the good work, make good horror games, and they, they don't do anything like Bendy and the Ink Machine. I, I just really hope they don't go in that direction. Otherwise, that's enough of my rant. Five bucks is okay. I hope they, hopefully just, no, 30 minutes. For the love of God, don't do 30 minute chapters. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed. It's unfortunate this video was short besides my rambling, which I'll have to probably delete and cut here and there because I rambled for too long. But if you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, hit that subscribe button, become a fluff subscriber, hit the notification down below for updates on my videos. Thank you for watching. Until the next time. Mm.